Hi Sagittarius, welcome to a special reading. This is for um, the rest of the year. So I'm calling it Goodbye 2022. Um, it's a general read because obviously I'm reading to a number of you. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. True black as usual, then I'll clarify with the black violet. I've also got um, the white light oracle, I'll draw a card from there. Spirit animal oracle and the unremarkable oracle. I'll do a card from each of those at the end of the read as well. So let's get to it. Hierophant, guidance from the divine or a spiritual teacher, someone helping you out there. Just keep going. Love to see the fool. That's really nice. A freedom celebration. Wow, this is looking really good, Sagittarius. Really good. And then he draws the devil. Great. Thanks for that, Steve. Yeah, the rest of it. Wowee. Don't they look beautiful, those cards? I love this deck. Just love this deck. He's done a white version as well that's coming out next year, so I'll back that one on Kickstarter. Uh, beautiful work, Arthur. Really nice. So let's see what we got here. This is quite an interesting one. Energy on the bottom, the five of wands. Uh, that's you in the middle. You're the Gandalf staff while everyone else crashes against you. It's a, a learning exercise. New frisky books are coming up to challenge the stag. And you're like, eh, I'm not having any of that. So let's have a look. Uh, energy in the middle, which is kind of you, is is this sort of... The Hierophant is... Um, what I particularly like about this card is there's a beehive on top of that staff. And Marcus Aurelius, famous Roman emperor, said, if it's not good for the hive, it's not good for the bees. So, you know, if you do something that just serves you and nobody else, guess what? It's not going to work. If you do something that helps your family or the community or your work colleagues or the wider world, everybody benefits and it just grows exponentially. So keep that energy. Um, that's what we need. Need more of that in the world, Sagittarius. Uh, my dog's getting restless, so I'm just shutting the door to keep the noise down for me a bit. He can hear me talking. He thinks there's people in. Um, so let's have a look. First row, you've got the uh, Nine of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles, which is just fantastic. Nine of Wands is just keep going. You know, it, it's a bit of a, you're almost at the 10, you're almost at the completion. Uh, the Ten of Wands is the burden card. So, you know, it, it is still an effort. You can see that this wolf here, she's got blood on her tummy. She's been through the ringer, but she's going to come out fighting, you know, back a wolf into a corner more fool you you know next card we got the page of pentacles which i love this card she's naked so in the tarot that equates to she's honest authentic nothing to hide truthful um and she's focused she's determined she really wants that particular thing whatever that is could be a person could be money could be power could be could be happiness could could be um could be you know taking your own power she's like no i'm in charge this is what i want this is what i'm going to get and what i really love about this card is one of my favorite cards in this deck is she's doing it one-handed you know which is really hard to do but she's doing it with such confidence she knows she's going to get what she wants this is what i want this is how i'm going to get it i'm going to focus i'm going to be determined i'm going to put all the effort into it boom got it and the result of that is you end up with this eight of um pentacles here you got this smoking hammer with these you know you can see it's been used it's been worked on this is this is craftsmanship and diligence it is um, reward after effort people can really see how good you are they're like wow this guy's amazing um guy or gal you know whoever um this person is amazing at the top of the middle row you got the devil card nothing to worry about the devil card in tarot is a warning it, it's really really simply put one donut is delicious, 12 donuts, really, yeah. The devil will go, have another donut, have another donut, where a temperance would go, you've had two, isn't that enough? At least walk around the block and, and see how you feel after that. Have a coffee to get rid of the sugar in your mouth, you know what I mean? The devil's all about these impermanent temptations. There's a load of chains coming off this card, and she's holding them really loosely, because the devil doesn't doesn't come out in the middle of the night like a monster and steal you from your bed you wander willingly to the devil you know and you stay held in by the devil you're held in by your addictions and you've got the power within you to kind of climb out of that and go no i'm not having any more donuts i'm not having any more whatever you know um i'm not having another beer i'm not taking any more drugs i'm not talking to my children like that anymore you know you 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 drive the process yourself own the power 
And again, you know, you're doing something for the greater good. So maybe it's something as simple as that. Maybe you're just trying to be a better person. I always say to people, you know, I try and be better today than I was yesterday. So if I fall out with my kids, I try and work out why I fell out. You know, was it was I was I hungry? And therefore, I was hungry. Um, were they being a pain in the bum, or was it? You know, that's the first thing. Were they genuine? Would someone go, "Wow, Steve, you got the patience of a saint." Or where they go, oh, that was a bit much. He only came in and asked for a bag of crisps. So, you know, it's finding that balance, isn't it? Um, and developing that. And it's about knowledge and understanding as well. So you're doing something for the greater good. You kind of know the answer to all of this already. Sagittarius, this shouldn't come as a surprise to you at the end of this year. You should be looking at these cars going, yep, I'm doing that, doing that, doing that. You know, it's been tough. Just keep going. There's something I really, really want. People can see that you're doing a really good job. They're really happy about that. Again, we all get tempted. It's just a warning to say, don't do that. Um, uh, Hierophant, yeah, you've got the knowledge, got the understanding, do it for the greater good. And then the Empress is a fantastic card. Um, it's it's a card of sensuality. It is a card, of, it's a loving card. Um, very loving, in fact. So if you're not trying to get pregnant um, towards the end of this year, take precautions because this is a very good omen for that. It's a card of motherhood, it's a card of pregnancy, it's a card of fertility, it is a card of abundance. You know, she sat on this sort of lush throne that's made of of, of vines and leaves. Um, she's holding this, this gorgeous um, melon in her hand and it's all... I say to people, you know, sometimes you can get in a bath because you're dirty and you just want to get clean. Or you can stay in a bath and you can put bubbles in it and candles and all the rest of it and scents and, and luxuriate in it and have um, enjoy the sensation. There you go. The Empress is very much about enjoying the sensations. So she would she would eat a, a bowl of grapes like they were the best thing she'd ever had in life rather than I'm eating them because I'm hungry. Um, so it's a lovely sensual energy down here and it's kind of reward from telling the devil to go or we'll take a long walk off a short plank um, <clears throat> and then towards the end of the month uh, towards the end of the year right towards the end we've got the fool card the queen of wands she's turned up again and the four of wands this is a really nice end the fool is zero in the tarot it's all or nothing jump in with both feet go off on the adventure what are you waiting for just do it I call this my magnetic card, the Queen of Wands. She is the person at a party that everybody kind of goes, who's this? You know, it's a bit sort of just a very magnetic, open, warm-hearted energy drawing people in going, come on, come and see what's going on. You know, pleased to meet you. Um, one of those people at a party that goes, oh, you you mountain bike as well, don't you, Dave? Uh, Dave, Steve, Steve, Dave, mountain bikers. And just bringing people together. Lovely, lovely energy. Very attractive energy, that for you towards the end of the year just in time for party season as well and then you've also got the four of ones celebration joy freedom everything you possibly want fours are very foundational you know you put four four posts in the ground it's the start of a house it's the you know it's it boom it's it's very foundational very start of something loving this reading Sag. <coughs> pardon me right let's have a look <coughs> Gonna clarify with Heidi's lovely black violet tarot. Ten of Wands. So after the nine, you've got the ten, which is the burden card. Heidi, not as happy with this one. The burden card is those those ones are supposed to be really weighing you down. They're really ungainly. They're sort of, ugh, you know, they they literally are, you know, wearing you out. Um, but the card itself is one that's talking about you're almost almost there. I'm trying to find the same card in the rider weight deck because it needs clarifying because you've got the nine there as well so the nine becomes the ten so you're almost there it's it is a pain in the ass i get that it is a burden but trust me you're almost done let's have a look i wonder if i should do a series of cards that show one against the other because they do read in completely different ways i think i've gone past it because oh no there it is <coughs> so let's just show you so these these cards are the same. They're exactly the same. But this one, her expression's pretty good. You know, she's a bit like, I've had enough of this. But it doesn't convey that kind of sense of, oh, this is difficult. You know, and it's, it's difficulty of your own making. Why is he carrying them like that? Why don't you just root them up? Put them on your back like she's done. It'd be a lot easier. And also, this card talks about you're almost, almost there. This is your destination. You're literally a couple of hundred yards and you're done. <coughs> Sorry about that. 
So really, the, the reason I got that card out was just to explain, you know, it is a burden, but you're almost, almost there. Just hang on, almost done it. Whatever it is that you're trying to do. Three of Cups, joyful celebration. So going off on this adventure experience or whatever, everyone else thinks it's a really good idea as well. They're all really pleased for you. Um, you're almost there, the lovers. So it could be in a relationship. could be that you and your partner are having a bit of a tough time at the moment and they just will not listen to your way of thinking. And it's like, maybe you need to meet them halfway or maybe you need to go, no, it's my way, the highway. It's not lots of swords on here, actually, which would indicate that. So I think you just you just need to be the bigger, better person in this one and just ride it out. It is almost done. Certainly, you know, end of the year. I mean, if, if looking at it today, we're looking at six weeks before we're done and dusted. King of Wands. Um, <coughs> I'm just going to draw that out of this one because I like the fact they've got the Strength card in there as well. So Court cards and it's the King of Wands. Here we go. Leadership, entrepreneurship, vision. Yeah, yeah, I remember this one now. King of Wands is, yeah, it's definitely the entrepreneur card. It's inspiring, it's commanding, it's leading by example. So if you are in a relationship that you feel is a bit of a drag, you're the one that's going to lead it and drive it forward. And that, that results in this celebration of freedom that you're looking for. You know, and could be freedom. Freedom doesn't mean to say you're breaking some chains and escaping from prison. It just means that you've had a really good chat about the financial situation. You both agreed to stick another 100 quid in the joint and that's that's it. It's done. You move on. So it's something really simple like that. You know, this, this idea of freedom. Don't look at it as, um, you know, you've been in prison for decades. The freedom is just something that some situation frees up and that, that you know, is because of your inspiring, courageous, commanding presence. The Emperor. The Emperor is the amalgamation of all four kings. So he's kind of got that, you know... Um, he, he's got the emotional um, understanding of the King of Cups. He's got the inspiring, commanding presence of the King of Wands, you know, and the other two kings as well. The Emperor is just top of the food chain, really. He is order, order and control, but in a really positive way. I always talk about this. You know, someone says, come on, let's all jump in a, in a couple of cars and go to the beach. And you get to the beach and go, oh, I haven't brought the suntan lotion. I haven't brought any money for the ice creams. I haven't even brought a tent. The emperor goes, got it, got it, got it. You know, it's 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 just, you get to the airport and go, oh, I think I've forgotten my boarding pass. He goes, no, brought it with me. Yes, the house is all locked up. The whole thing is done, done, done. So now we have, uh, where does this one go? On top of the devil, you've got the two of swords. Um, yeah, it's a card of stagnation. It, it could be a, a sort of feeling that, um, you're being tempted and you, you're not getting away from the temptation. It feels like you continue to be tempted. So I'd work really hard on that. The de There's no good in the devil. You know, he's, he's not going to make anything any better. Yeah. So one donut is delicious. Two was absolutely fantastic. You don't need any more than that. Yeah. Move on. Um, yes, it's nice for someone to say you look great. And would you like to go out for a drink? But you go, no, I'm, I'm with a partner. Thank you very much. Yeah, so by all means, take the compliments. Don't take the dinner date. Yeah, you, you know where that leads. It's not good. It's not good. Justice on top of the Empress. So again, the, the sensuality, the sort of, um, the the fertility, the nourishment, the abundance. You've got the Justice card on top of that. In the cold light of day, you will be judged. You will be found out. Sword in one hand, scales in the other. You, you She's wearing a blindfold, so you can't, you can't sort of flirt with her or bribe her or any of that. In the cold light of day, you will be judged. So I always say to people, just make sure you do the decent thing. You know, someone says to me, did you have the last donut? I just go, no, it's, it's either still there or my son's eating it. You know, I had one, it was delicious, I stopped. Yeah, simple as. Nine of Wands, um, again, you've got the Nine of Wands twice, and this is a great card. You know, it looks like she's had the stuffing kicked out of her, but she's still, she's still holding her wand. She's still victorious. It's almost there. Just keep going. It's almost over. And then finally, Temperance. Love to see Temperance on top of the devil as well. Um, and I love this card. I think Heidi's really nailed this. Temperance is exactly that. It's balancing on a tightrope. Whereas the devil would be, have a donut, have a donut, have a donut. She strikes the balance between 
have maybe one donut and then we'll go out in the park and play with the dog for 20 minutes so it burns off some of the donut you know it's finally that balance it's walk <laughs> god me it's walking the tightrope love 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 to see that so we're just going to wind it up now with the white oracle tarot uh spirit animal oracle and the um unremarkable oracle so let's see what we've got you have uh yeshi sogol um the white tiger obviously a very rare creature this is about embracing your own power um you, you are supremely powerful um and and but you know classic thing with great power comes great responsibility yes you're in a very powerful position but you you don't lord that power over anyone else you use it for good yeah we're back to the higher front in the middle aren't we that kind of energy um uh, what's for the greater good so there you go so use this fantastic power that you've got embrace it own it it's yours you are a very powerful human being Saj. but just use it for for good for the greater good yeah um dove spirit be peace that's it i love that uh, you know when there's there's um you're stuck in a traffic jam and everyone's getting really heated and you just adopt the the dove spirit mentality just be peaceful there's nothing you can't control this situation just be at peace with it just and and you'll feel your heart rate going down it'll feel like cold air just being sort of poured over your head or warm air if you were chilly you know you just you just kind of go oh yeah i've got this so in those situations you might be required to be the peacemaker and that comes from this incredible strength that you've got you know people look to you they they respect and admire you they're looking up to you and the inquisitive ghost that's a slightly tricky one let me just find what the inquisitive ghost says an unconscious part of the psyche that has remained hidden for fear of exposure emotion hidden for fear of being felt this is a call to feel to witness to allow here we wait and accept that which is within us without a desire or need to change it we wait we feel we witness until in time that which lives beneath the disguise feels safe enough to reveal itself interesting yeah so um yeah maybe it's time to show people that powerful peaceful energy that you've got and finally finally because i've done it with the other two i am going to draw one card from the uh right away this deck i've had for uh, almost 30 years i think now um and it was the first deck that was ever bought for me so thanks annie for that and then we have da, 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 da. finishing off with the page of swords page of swords is cutting through the red tape it's it's wanting to kind of get on with it it's as simple as that so towards the end of this year i think you're in great shape sagittarius i think things are really looking good feels really like i don't think anything's rolling into 2023 it feels like you're just winding down the year you just you're just tidying up a few loose ends as we run into um december end of december so with that i will see you uh hopefully next week for um back to regular weekly readings and uh, i will see you and wish you a very happy 2023 See you soon.